angry MGTOW here. Oh my god, I'm making a video response to someone in MGTOW! Someone, grab Andrew Norton and tell him the news! I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. Today I'm going to talk about men hating women and why it's not only their right, but it's also a necessity. And why is it that men need to hate half the population? I want you to look carefully at feminism. Look at the picture in front of you. Do I hate men? And notice that she's there holding a knife and fork looking at a man who's dressed well, hands subserviently behind his back, standing up straight, obediently, obedient, ob obediently awaiting her orders. She told him to kneel down and bend his head so that she can cut it off. He would. Dude, you are completely looking into this picture way too deeply. I can understand that this picture might be some sort of relevance towards feminism, but this is why we have plenty of women against feminism, i.e. women against feminism. But I have the feeling it doesn't matter on how many women that are opposed to feminism, because you see every goddamn woman as some sort of leech that wants to suck on your fucking blood. This is what the modern world has become. Women who openly hate and destroy men and then say that their hatred is not dangerous because men have all the power. They basically argue that men are the dangerous ones. What, it, what, what this really is is that women believe that men have been conditioned to obey them. I don't even know where you even get this ideology. I mean, seriously. Yeah, I can understand if this might be the viewpoint of feminists, but every goddamn woman on this goddamn planet? Dude, you're no better than the feminists themselves. If anything, you're even worse. And to not hate them, so no matter how putrid they are, no matter how wicked they are, no matter how much they harm men, no matter what crimes they commit, they will always get a free pass by society. Look, I understand the injustices that men face. I've seen the videos. I've seen the double standards within society. And yes, I, I understand your viewpoint. However, I think you're giving society not enough credit because guess what? If a woman murders a man in front of the street, I don't think society is going to be that sympathetic towards the woman. Because men will ultimately not stand up to them. Ultimately, what we have here is a situation where we need radical men to actually stand up and say, I hate you and there is nothing you can do about it. You're going to prove the feminists right and you don't want that. You're going to end up digging your own grave. If you really want change, then instead of being hateful to the group, you should try to show society the double standards they have for men and how it has a negative impact. This is why Gamergate exists, to spread the word about corruption against journalism. This is why Women Against Feminism exists, because we need to spread the word that feminism is not about equality. You could be the leader for a the men's rights version of Martin Luther King Jr. if you just see things in a more respectful way. And if they attempt to shame men, these same radical men will say, I am openly a woman hater. What are you going to do? You're going to shame me? I'm saying I'm a woman hater. I hate you for these specific reasons and I'm going to continue to hate you. This is the only thing that will actually wake women up and ultimately help to free men from their clutches. Or we may end up having a future just like Demolition Man. Until we actually have men that are willing to go to that level to actually compete directly head to head with the feminists, with the radicals and let them know that we will let them die because we will not take it anymore. We will not carry them and it is not their right to have us carry them. Only then when we free ourselves and allow ourselves to, th ourselves to think beyond the aspect of if we hate a woman, it's going to be dangerous. Only then will we be able to actually overpower the cancer 
and the parasite that woman is. Okay, two things. One, very few men are willing to go that far as to go with your plan. Two, even if you manage to get a small army of men, you're only going to make MGTOW if not every man on this planet look like an evil bastard that needs to be castrated. And guess what? The government is going to take this feminist size, thus there will be laws that are placed against men. And hell, it might even go as far, and call me crazy if you want, but a war between the genders. Men versus women. And it doesn't matter who's going to win, because at the, at the end of the day, there will be blood loss. And actually reclaim society and actually actually improve our lives thank you for listening and just remember that all roads lead to MGTOW or death I for one beg to differ I am the atheist gamer peace the game out